Lesson nine, no more the word suck. Hi everybody, I'm Felipe Drago and welcome to Drago Drums. Lesson nine about drum fills. So the word suck is not in our vocabulary any longer. If this is the first time you're watching this, subscribe to the channel, press the bell so you'll get notifications of future lessons. And instead of watching this lesson, stop this video and go to lesson one. Start from the beginning, even if you already play drums. It's going to help you to see how I think, how I come about when it's drum fill exercises. So when you actually get to lesson nine, you're going to be really, really into it and you're going to get all the benefits you can get. So, as I said multiple times, lesson nine and this lesson is about drum rudiments becoming drum fills before i show anything let me talk about two books if you are a beginner i suggest you get this book drum set for beginners rudiments unlocked a book i wrote with my friend paul hose i'm gonna put the link to the book in the description and you can check it out there's there are exercises there are the list of the 40 pa as a standard rudiments there's history there's how to practice there's a lot of information in this book and there's more after you learn the rudiments and how to apply them there's the number system and the pyramid which is our amazing concept so if you're a beginner i suggest drum set for beginners rudiments unlocked if you are intermediate to advanced, then I'm going to get the cover of the other book I recommend, Joe Porcaro's Drum Set Method. This book, yeah, it's a real book. I only have the cover because I cut the books apart to put in folders with, because it's easier for the lessons. So this book inspired this book. Okay? So Drum Set for Beginners Rudiments Unlocked. We even dedicate the book to Joe Porcaro was inspired by this book. And this book is one of the books that changed my life. Because as many people, I learned the rudiments and didn't know what to do with them. When I went to MI and I had lessons with Joe himself and we got to his book, I was like, oh my God, so this is what you actually can do with the rudiments. And my life was never the same again. Okay, so if you're a beginner, rudiments unlocked. If you're intermediate to advanced, Joe Porcaro's book, I will put the link to both books in the description. I'm pretty sure you can get these books where you live. All right, just one thing before we get going. Everything we've done so far from lesson one to lesson eight are single strokes. So there's one rudiment that you can already play, the single strokes. I'm going to start showing you a specific single stroke rudiment as a drum fill. And then after that is going to be the rest of the rudiments. I said before the list of 40 PAS standard rudiments. I'm not going to play all 40. I'm not going to show drum fills with all 40. I'm going to show a few drum fills, and, but from each group. There are five basic groups. Single strokes, double strokes, dedos flams, and drags. So at least one rudiment from each group. Okay? So now we're going to go. And the first one is the single stroke four or the four stroke rough. For the single stroke four, there's a little trick that makes it easy to memorize. It's the word diga da da. Diga da da. If you say this word, while you're playing, you're always going to get it right. The people who are with me since the very first lesson, they know that the first time I show a new figure, and in this case, it's going to be a rudiment, I play just on the snare on the fourth beat of the fourth bar. Okay? To save a little bit of time, I'm not going to play three bars of groove and then the fourth bar. I'm just going to play one bar of groove and then the fourth bar. But you, when you practice, you play all three bars of groove. Okay, so single stroke four, four stroke rough. Different names for the same rudiments. 
你个的大。Now the drum fill is going to be the whole fourth bar, and for that I'm going to play the three bars of groove. So, still only on the snare, the four stroke rough, but the whole fourth bar. One, two, three, four. Now the obvious orchestration. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna leave other orchestrations for you. I'm just gonna show you one thing. This is an orchestration: snare, tom, one, four, tom, and bass drum. Not only that, is the single stroke four, or if you want, if you prefer, the four stroke rough, but that is one of John Bottom's signature licks. Diga da da. So now. I'm gonna go into the double stroke rolls, and for that I'm gonna play the five stroke roll. Okay, again, just on the snare, just on the fourth beat of the fourth bar, and just as I did before, I'm just gonna play one bar of groove. But when you practice, you play three bars of groove. Here we go: one, two, three, four. After that, you should practice all four beats of the fourth bar just on the snare. I'm going to skip that. You practice, and I'm going to do a less obvious orchestration of the five-stroke roll. Now I'm going to play three bars of groove, and then the fourth bar is one possible orchestration for the five-stroke roll. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Feel free to create a drum fill mixing the single stroke four and the five stroke roll. Now, the six stroke roll. Again, just on the snare, but I'm gonna start with the whole fourth bar being the drum fill, but just on the snare. Six stroke roll. One, two, three, four. And now let me do one orchestration, one kind we haven't done yet, even in the previous eight lessons. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So, the cymbals as part of the drum fill, you need to play the bass drum as well 
to give a little bit more punch, okay? So this five stroke row, six stroke row are the two double stroke rows I'm gonna demonstrate. But there's the seven stroke row, nine stroke row, 10 stroke row, 11 stroke row, 13 stroke row, and 15 stroke row. So feel free to mix and match all of these plus the single stroke four, which was the first one, okay? Now, the ditto rudiments, I'm gonna demonstrate just one, which is the single paradiddle because it's, it is the most useful, okay? So, the single paradiddle, you can only play because of its nature that's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. You, can all, you cannot play only on the fourth beat. You have to play on the third and fourth beat. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna play three bars of groove, okay? So the single paradiddle as a drum fill. One, two, three, four. You can also orchestrate, even though it's just played on three and four. You can orchestrate those two beats anywhere you want. Now I'm going to do a less obvious orchestration of the single paradiddle on the whole of the fourth bar. So here we go. One, two, three, four. There's the paradiddle diddle, the double paradiddle, the triple paradiddle. Have fun with all of those. Now, the next group is the flam. I'm going to use now the flam accent, which is based in triplets. So I'm going to play a beat based in triplets with the flam accent. One, two, three, four. I play the whole fourth bar as the drum fill, but you can play on just on three and four, and you can orchestrate any way you want. I'm gonna orchestrate it now in a less obvious way. So here we go again, still based in triplets, the flam accent. One, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna combine two flam rudiments in the same drum fill, the flam accent and the flam tap. For that, I'm gonna turn the flam accent in 16th notes. And doing the flam accent in 16th notes, I'm gonna fill the first three beats of the bar. So the last beat, beat four, is gonna be the flam tap. This is how it sounds like. Here we go. 
One, two, three, four. This fill with the flam accent and the flam tap, you can orchestrate any way you want. Okay, so these were the two fills from the flam group. There's also the pata fla fla, the flam paradiddle, Swiss army triplet. All of those are great drum fills. Okay, now the last group, the drags. For this drum fill, I'm gonna play the Dragadito. For this one, I'm just going to play on the snare as well, just like I did before. But you orchestrate, use your imagination, use your creativity. So here we go. One, two, three, four. So, this is it for this lesson. Happy practice, everyone. Now, your knowledge for drum fills is vast because you have all the figures from lessons one to eight and now the rudiments. You can combine rudiments within themselves, but you also can combine rudiments with the previous figures we've seen in the series. Okay? If you're still here with me and haven't done it, subscribe to the channel and press the bell there's a load of material in the channel from many years ago and there's this series about drum fills don't miss the next lesson and if you haven't watched the other ones watch the other ones and practice okay thank you very much see you next time bye